subscribers warm welcome to you how are you guys doing i hope you are doing all great yes i know that today we are going to make some timbani or chimbani um, here i have um, my beans flour okay here is my um, yuca or, or um, cassava flour here i have some baking powder and here is my salt so these are all the ingredients we are going to use they are all dry ingredients and with this bowl i am going to add up mix all my ingredients here with my little meat whisk sorry which is before i added um, the beans uh, flour to the bowl Yucca or cassava uh, flour. I added my baking powder and flowers and salt, of course. And I mixed them up. After mixing them up, I went ahead and add, um, I added some water to it. I added the water because there's some consistency you want to um, have as a result of your body so if you like your chimani to be like nice and soft um, you can make your yours um, like a little bit liquid and my end result of the butter you are about to see in this video it well and don't forget to uh, try to taste um, the salt to it if you don't have enough you add a little bit more and you mix it well to get rid of all the lumps okay so here is my consistency as I said before you can add a little bit more water to yours that's fine okay I am going to distribute my butter into them okay if you want this type of mold uh, don't hesitate to check my uh, description box I will leave the the link to it there I purchased them from Amazon and I have the affiliate link there go down to my comment section or my description box and you see the affiliate link there click on it it will take you straight to Amazon and you can make your purchase of this beautiful mold so easily okay thank you for doing that if you are interested so here I have my pot on fly on fire uh, on on the stove please and I use this rack because um uh, I don't want to use um my um, cooking um, the the steamer you know how we do it back home you put the steamer or the strainer on top of the pot and you do your thing yeah because i don't want to use that it's a little bit smaller so i prefer doing this method i add the corn hogs just it's just me that is optional but the rack if you're you don't you, you are not using a strainer or, or cooking um crop pot or whatever you just yeah you just use a rack like this and drop your um mold onto it add the water to the pot add enough water to the pot okay 
and then you go ahead and cover it up Leave, give it some time to boil come time to time and check on the water to make sure the water is not dry um dry up from the bottom okay so yeah that's it i'll cover it up and give it some time to boil and i'll come back and check it up and see how how it's going okay so after that we have uh, to prep our um, topping which is the caramelized um onion and our pepper so here i am slicing one medium onion these days onion are so so something it was so full of water and it took me a while on the stove to to, to get caramelized so yeah and i have this small scallion also that i wanted to add to it so i went ahead and sliced it guys if you are not subscribed yet please don't forget to, go to click on the subscribe button don't forget to like and share 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 okay thank you thank you so the onions are done so now i'm done slicing my onions and i will check my timbani you see how um it rise I'll go ahead and cover it up with my aluminum foil to trap um, the the heat okay it will help the cooking process okay and here I am going to fry my onion until it gets caramelized just the fried mix make sure you um come you mix it stir fry it and once it gets all camera lies might took a little while to get camera lies uh, as i said before so you just have to be patient let all the water dry up from the your your onion and then you will get there so now my onion are almost there you don't want them burnt though you don't want them burnt so you have to keep your eye on it keep staring keep staring them you don't want them burnt okay and once it's like this you just separate them turn off your fire separate them from the uh, uh, your your fryer okay or your pen so here we are here with our chibani checking them all they are ready let's test it if they are ready we should know so this is how i test it i use my fork just um dipping in and once your fork comes out clean you know that you have your job done and voila this is it now i'll go ahead and uh separate them from the mold see how they can they, they come out so beautifully so so beautifully that's why i like this silicone mold they are so good with baking cooking anything you like don't forget if you like them check my description box if you want to purchase them okay So after that, I will get them ready and serve. Okay, so don't go. 
you will see how we eat our chimbani in togo now i am going ahead and put them in some small pieces you see the inside this chimbani was so good it was a while i ate some chimbani it was a while yeah and uh, last time when i wanted to make them i'm like i need to share this with my subscribers and friends so here you go this is it i have uh, some chimney recipe on the channel already yeah i do have one so here we go we have our caramelized onion with the oil we don't separate it from the oil we use the caramelized onion and the oil okay as you can see how i am spreading it on the chimani and then yeah mm -hmm. the good is that that was so good friends that was so so good uh, I urge you to try that and you testify. Now I added some dry um, um, cayenne pepper to it. This pepper contains uh, some smoked herring and some salt. Or you can use just some cubion and uh, salt instead. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Ciao.